Take a look at my next guest. There's a report around Wall Street that this is what he has in mind. This is Donald Trump, 33 years old. And some people think that he wants to be the World Trade Center, the 110 story Manhattan skyscraper that anyone can pick up if they've got the coins. No need to shout. No need to yell. No need to have a rock. Father's rather modest by current standards real estate empire in Brooklyn and expanded it considerably. He now has an apartment for sale in a new Trump building called the Trump Tower going up on Fifth Avenue. There it is. You can buy this apartment, one floor of it, one whole floor of that building, that is. Eleven million dollars altogether. You, uh, you bought some prized properties at the bottom of the New York market in the 1970s. Uh, inner cities have been pure gold since that time. Why? Because replacement costs have just gone up so much? What in cousin fucking tarnation, Alabama Betty Crocker, Miss fucking Betty White shit is this? What in the two rats fucking in a ranch Dorito bag is going on right now? About a hundred and ten million dollar Grand Hyatt Hotel, which is opening up next week in New York City, and uh, we've made some other purchases that have been uh, fine. Is that your general advice to people who are interested in real estate investment? Though, look to the inner cities, look to old buildings, and doing something with them. Well, I like the inner cities. I see the inner cities as being sort of a wave of the future now. I think with the, with the problems of fuel and the gasoline shortages and everything else and the transportation, especially in the major cities such as New York and Los Angeles and Chicago, I see the inner cities as being probably, in terms of a real estate or in a real estate sense, probably the most viable investments. But it's going to be expensive. Apartments in New York City alone, one bedroom, not very large at all, $650 a month. That's tough for the working class, yes, isn't it? And that's actually now a very low price. In fact, if you have any of them available, I'd like to make I, I know where I can sell a thousand of them at that <laughs> price. Right. Actually, that is a low that's price. Right. That's really a very low price now. They're, I know of uh, a couple of buildings, for instance, an Olympic Tower, which is on 51st Street and 5th Avenue. Apartments are, are being rented by the condominium owners for five and $6,000 a month, and they're one-bedroom and two-bedroom apartments. So it's, uh, when you say $600, even in other sections, it's almost becoming a low price. What happens to some of the... Yeah. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> building that you bought that the Metropolitan Art Museum wanted. Why did you have those destroyed, first of all, and what happens to the look of a city? Well, what we had is we, we purchased a site with an old department store on it, the old Bonwood Teller store on 5th Avenue and 57th Street next to Tiffany, and we had to Wait, really take the see building some down. There were many people that didn't want us to take it down. The building really was not good worth thing as an we art have building or an art deco building. It really was good. We did take it down, and there was somewhat of an outcry, but I think that's generally subsided now and I think people like what we're doing and like the building that we're putting in its place. But couldn't you have saved just those sculptures that you had broken? Well, it would have been very, very dangerous to have saved them. They were, uh, they weighed two tons, they were 15 feet high, they were about two and a half feet thick, and if they would have fallen, they could have fallen the opposite All way. Right. If they fall into the building, you know, where right. they fall out towards Fifth Avenue, people All could right. have been very badly hurt and killed. All and right. To me, it was not worth it. And they've All really right. proven not to be very valuable All right. structures right now. And, All right. We've had appraisals All rats. In fact, even after the fact, we've had Trump, what's left in your life? You're 33 years old. You're worth all this money. You say you didn't say that you want to be worth a billion. No, no, I really don't. I just want to keep busy and keep active and mm -hmm. be interested in what I do. And uh, that's all there is to life as far as I'm concerned. I really am not looking to mm -hmm. make tremendous amounts of money ah. to enjoy my life. And if that happens to go with it, that's fabulous. Give me one final bottom line. In five years, the price of When a dog a licks his balls City in public, for, nobody says anything. Dollars, but when I do it, people are like, what the hell are you doing to your dog? $1,000.